Aerial bombardments have been going on in Beirut city and uh, I'll ask my camera person to come closer, keep walking. Uh, this is the site you see here. These are the areas where the strikes have happened. Uh, these are the residential areas and we are right now in Beirut. We are not away from the city. It is very close to the city center and you can see these damaged areas. Uh, the reports suggest the Israeli media or the Israeli army claims that they had killed one of the commanders of Hezbollah. But uh, we spoke to certain people here. Uh, the locals suggest that this is a residential building. They claim that perhaps it was not related anyway to the Hezbollah because Hezbollah's stronghold is in, in some other part and not in the residential areas of uh, or, or in the city areas of uh, Beirut. Now, what has been happening since yesterday? We saw the deputy chief or say the next in command ha Naim Qasim of the Hezbollah addressing the Lebanese TV channel yesterday saying that our, uh, our our capacity is still intact we have still the fighters there on the southern suburbs of Lebanon who are engaged in a ground combat with the Israeli forces and then there were fires exchange there has been a fierce gun battle which has been going on near the southern suburb of Beirut but if you see here through visuals I'll try to show you and my camera person Adam will show you here this is the kind of damage which has been inflicted uh, by these aerial strikes. This is a multi-story building and you see those damage there through the aerial strikes. People are still staying in this building. We see those damaged cars and this has been the impact of the of these aerial strikes. Right now we are reporting from G Nabi Yunus, an area in the south of Lebanon and behind me if you see this is the kind of impact civilian buildings have been inflicted or the kind of damage it has suffered due to the aerial strike and right now if you'll see here there are people around i'll show you through visuals that this used to be a family here and you see these members these members here this is the picture of the family which used to stay here and what we're being told that around five people were killed in this aerial strike on Saturday and more than 20 injured. And right now, we are we will try to show you that that is still the rubble is getting cleared while the occupied territory of Palestine and its forces, the, the occupation forces across the border claim that this was a house which had militants, but what we have been told that this is a civilian residential area and aerial bombardment has just damaged this entire house here right now they're expecting that perhaps this will not have this will not be extended but they also fear that the worst is yet to come in J Bani Nabi Yunus in southern Lebanon Muhammad Ghazali for NDTV